Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm going to review a tuna. This is, I think it's Dolores, Dolores, Dolores tuna. Chunk light yellow fin tuna in water. It says omega 3, 151 milligrams of omega 3 total acids per serving. <clears throat> Hundred and ten calories. Product of Mexico. Ingredients: You got yellowfin tuna, water, vegetable broth. Contains soy in that vegetable broth. You got some salt, and that's about it. Product may contain bones, so you got to watch out for that. <clears throat> you got to pull the top lid. I already cleaned the top of the lid off. Um, just in case um, it's got a cool blue blue uh, top and bottom it's kind of cool I guess maybe the blue signifies the, the blue ocean water or something okay all right so let's uh, I don't know I have to probably have to drain it so Let's put it on. Let's set it. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a tuna sandwich out of it after I you know, check it out. So let's put it on this little paper saucer here to open it up in case it tries to make a mess on me here. I found these in. I want to say it was a, a maybe a Reesers I think here in. Tulsa. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> okay. I'm not going to pull the lid all the way off because it feels like I'm, I'm foreseeing a snap and I don't want that anything to go everywhere so i'm just going to leave it just like that i'll let you see see what we got here <clears throat> looks like a finely grounded um tuna on top there's some chunkiness down in there though feels like it <clears throat> looks good a pink appearance <clears throat> Nice tuna aroma. <clears throat> yeah, it smells really good. Okay, let's uh, just gonna try try a bite of it. Watch out for them bones in there. Has a nice tuna taste. I like the medium saltiness. Nice texture. It's good. There ain't nothing wrong with that. It doesn't. It doesn't have like a. Like a lot of water in there. Um, I grew up on tuna sandwiches. That's something my mom made a lot, a lot of. What she would do is <clears throat> star kissed was the thing that we ate a lot. Um, so should get a can of tuna, open it up, put it in a bowl, put in a, a pretty good, you know, tablespoon, heaping tablespoon of uh, Miracle Whip, 
<clears throat> yeah, it, it was mostly Miracle Whip is what she used. Um, stir it up real good. Um, sometimes she would uh, slice off, maybe dice them a little bit, some dill pickles into it, and uh, put it on some toast. I toasted my bread. Um, yeah, this is good. Aftertaste is okay. <clears throat> is that a bone right there? Let's see. It's pressure. It's pressure. It's pressurized. I'm just wondering if the bones would be obvious, you know, if you, if you happen to see them. <clears throat> Get it all on here. So how many of you have heard of this this one here? This is the first time I've ever seen this. Dolores tuna. <clears throat> okay, well, um, to take up all this time just getting all the tuna out I don't have anything here to you know save it and I'm not going to put it in the refrigerator in, in this can opened up like that so I'm just trying to get out what I can and there we go okay <clears throat> all right I don't have mayonnaise I mean miracle whip um, with me to make it you know how my mom did um, but just the tuna itself on the bread will be just fine okay let's see how this look good oh yeah got some chips Give it the pestiness, hint of guacamole. Here, I thought I was going to have to drain it, drain that can, but I'll show you what's left in the can. Just a little, just a little bit, about a, um, about a teaspoon in there. <clears throat> have um, in vegetable oil to do tomorrow um, this lid is well I guess it's kind of the color of vegetable oil kind of has that goldish yellowish kind of appearance okay I'm going to end it there. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Um, chunk light yellowfin tuna in water. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Let me know if you've tried this or heard of it. Okay? Bye.